G'day guys, Russ here from Tucker Barbecues and I just thought I'd uh, run you through our new outdoor kitchens. Um, we've made barbecues for probably the last 30 years now and uh, what I've found, the outdoor kitchen market has come of age in Australia. And uh, what we've got here is uh, I'm going to get you through a range of um, different modules that you can put together and build your own kitchen to your own colour as large as you like or as small as you like uh, with a choice of different barbecues that we make. Uh, I'll just start off here with our um, GTR barbecue which is our sort of mid-range product. It's, uh, it's actually really good. Uh, this unit here it has developed over the last few years and what it is, it's a 304 grade stainless steel barbecue that uh, we make to last year, we'd like to think about 20 years. Um, quite easily I think it'll last that, we'll be making them 30 years and I've got some old ones out there. But uh, how the, um, the kitchen has evolved is these barbies here can be bought with or without roasting hoods. If we do a flat lid, you can uh, buy the barbecue without the cabinet. And that was the reason that we started doing the kitchens. A lot of people were just coming in and buying barbecues and taking them off and uh, getting other guys to build the kitchens. So what we thought we'd do is we'd make our barbecue cabinets so that they could integrate into kitchens. Um, these models here, the actual cabinet, if you want to build it into our outdoor kitchens and simply you just remove the doors and then you can integrate them with uh, glass doors. You can integrate them with stone doors. Really, there's um, there's really no boundary as to what colour door that you uh, you choose. Uh, you just simply remove these side shelves off the cabinets, and away you go. Now, moving over here, this is a this is a barbecue that we've just put the stone doors into, and um, we drop insulation. We'll into the side panels and around the back of the barbecue so that it doesn't transfer any heat out. The most popular sort of outdoor kitchen that we would do would probably be around about this size. This is a five burner GDR um, with a half grill, a half plate and a roasting hood. And uh, this, uh, these cabinets here, we can actually drop in a sink, we can drop in a wok burner, Really, it doesn't really matter. This is one here that we've, we've cut a sink into, um, but you could choose a wok burner. And um, you know, you, this is a two-tone laminate, which is a new large format sort of porcelain tile. And uh, yeah, that, that unit's probably around about 2,800 long. You know, then you can move over to over to here, and this is also a um, laminate kitchen. Uh, we do granite tops. Um, I don't use any any sort of resin-based uh, uh, bench tops for outdoors because generally it's the UV breaks them down. So this laminin is a product that you can leave outside. You don't need to seal it. You can put a hot pot or a hot wok straight off your wok burner and actually sit it on the bench top and it's not going to damage the surface. Um, like I said, if you get fat splattering onto this, you don't have to worry about it soaking into the product because it's got less than 1% porosity. So it's really, really durable against sunlight, rain. You could spill red wine on it and just basically just wipe it off. Uh, this is a GTR barbecue again, just a small one and we built this kitchen up because it's good for townhouses and units and those sorts of uh, those sorts of places and this has got an integrated wok burner built into the chassis of the barbecue and you can either couple it with a flat lid which is quite good if you want that extra bench space or you can get another roasting hood similar to this so that you've got a twin hood set, uh, set up so that you could be doing a roast and still barbecue and uh, these doors here are glass but you could actually even book match them with the lemon and uh, Calcutta sort of finish like that you know and you've got storage underneath. Under the barbecues we actually uh, air it, we, we actually ventilate all of our cabinetry so that if you've got the gas cylinder in here or you've got your natural gas bayonet point you've got 
the correct uh, the correct ventilation so that you're not going to accidentally have a problem if you don't connect your gas bottle properly or your, um, your bayonet point is not connected properly or it's got a bit of a leak it'll let the uh, gas dissipate out and you can see these are self-closing doors we use stainless steel hinges the doors are made from an anodized aluminium and uh, they're made really so that you can have them out in all weather whether you're near the beach or whether you're you know in the city or up in the mountains um, yeah so I'll take you over and I'll show you another one of our barbies. G'day guys. So this is our uh, latest product from Tucker Barbecues and this is our premium product, the R-Class Barbie. And uh, what you've got here is a four burner barbecue with actually an integrated wok burner and roasting hood. And once again, like the uh, GTR series, that barbecue can either have a flat lid or a roasting hood. Now, um, with our kitchens, the R-Class has been designed so that it just integrates in and uh, works with our front profile on our kitchens. Um, the kitchens really, I think it really just depends on the length of uh, size that you've got it at your home or you know on your patio. Um, this model here, we've done it so that you've got two fridges in here. Now, these are, these are fridges that we get out of um, Beef eater, we get them out of Vintech. Um, they're basically you can nearly integrate any refrigerator into your um, into your outdoor kitchen. Some people put dishwashers in. We do, you know, sinks and we do large sinks. We do small sinks. Um, it's it's something that really just comes down to the customer and what they actually like. If they like, you know, cooking on the left hand side, they like cooking on the right hand side. You know, if you want to get a, um, a cutlery drawer, you can have a cutlery drawer. Look at that, we've got a tapper tool. But, um, you know, we, we've done this one here, and once again, in a lemon, which is in a matte finish, and then we've integrated the doors in the same color. Um, the the R-Class series has its grease tray just cleverly hidden underneath. So you haven't got those large drip trays or grease trays evolve filled with sand. Each time you finish barbecuing, you just wash it out in the sink and you've got storage underneath your um, your barbie. Uh, you can have, you know, a sink in there if you want to have a sink in there. We've got range hoods, which are becoming more and more popular because people are building their barbecues under covers and um, it's just handy to exhaust the fume. Uh, moving through here, We've got um, a couple of uh, new products that we've also made. This is a uh, dedicated charcoal barbecue that we've integrated into a, a kitchen with a flat lid. The charcoal barbies can have roasting hoods or they can have flat lids. These doors here are made out of uh, aluminium and glass. And that uh, is just another, these are in a metallic ribbon. So that's just something different, just changes it up. These are granite tops. This is in a steel gray. And uh, you know, you can have your charcoal barbecue. You can have your pizza oven. These just drop down. And this pizza oven, we've designed it so that uh, it actually works in the kitchen. Because most pizza ovens sort of come out to here. This is a wood fire pizza oven with the actual fire that's designed to go underneath. And then the smoke comes up and then out through the exhaust out here. And then you've got, uh, an air vent that was built into it so you can control how strong the fire works and once again you've got cabinetry underneath so you can put your your trays and bits and pieces um, we've got a sink built into this one with the sinks we actually do two sizes we do small ones and we do longer ones um, and really once again it just comes down to what the customers really want we'll, we'll do we'll do anything um, this is a corner unit but uh, yeah, it just depends on what your style is, what's gonna suit your house. I'll take you through here and I'll, I'll show you another one. Um, this model here is our fryer tuck, which is a, which is a solid plate barbecue. And uh, these units here are really good for catering for large crowds. You know, you've got a, a solid stainless steel hot plate on it and uh, 
you know, I think you fit something like a hundred sausages on it. You've got a wok burner built in here and with a trivet so you can actually support your wok. Um, these are just, there's a number of things that you can build into our kitchens. Our, um, our standard sort of modules are probably single door cabinets and double door cabinets and we can just integrate them you could have two side by side so you could have a, a sink in this here and you can have another another module here so that you've got a bench on either side of your sink uh, going through here we've put a, a double door fridge in and then we've got a large sink here and uh, these are popular with fishermen they like to wash their fish i don't know i don't know if they're going to catch any fish this big but you never know um, and then uh, you know they've got the waste underneath they come with um, they come with the hoses going into the mixer and uh, you know you can you can basically build whatever you like you know you could have a GTR barbecue in there you could have a an R class barbecue in there some people have two barbecues if they want they might have a solid plate one and they might have a dedicated all grill one so really it just comes down to what you like cooking on and whether you want a fridge down there so that you can you know, have a few cold beers, whether you want a wok burner, uh, whether you want a sink, and um, really what we do is we just piece it all together and just build it to suit you. So, yeah, cheers.